Hello YouTube, this is Matt from Casual Riders. Today, I was doing my pre-trip inspection on my bike and I noticed that my back right indicator was um, out of order. So I thought it was just a bulb, but I got home this evening and I had a look to actually see what was going on. And I found the most peculiar thing. Check it out. So I disassembled my um, indicator here and if I just switch the flash on, there we go. So basically I disassembled my indicator and um, only to find that this housing, which houses the bulb, was actually not tight. It was hanging loose here. So it was obviously being allowed to rattle around. And um, what actually happens is that the contact that's over here, um, basically the cables got cut clean straight off. So if you see here, this is probably clearer. If you look there, you can see that the cable is still sitting inside the lug. And um, that's actually what's caused my indicator to stop working. So there's actually nothing wrong with the bulb. You can see that there is nothing wrong with the bulb itself. Um, you can see that the wires are still inside there. Uh, and yeah. So basically, I'm going to repair this quickly. I'm going to do a little bit of a soldering mission. I'm going to rig up the camera on the tripod and you guys can check it out. Okay, can you have more scene? Okay, I'm sorry about the flickering guys. I'm currently doing this in my garage with a fluorescent light, so yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up these wires over here. using a Stanley blade because I don't have a decent pair of wire strippers anymore. So magically vanished. I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit easier though. I just bumped the camera. If this thing is on, how hot it is either. A few moments later. Okay, maybe this time it's working. Turns out my soldering iron wasn't on in the first place. My soldering skills are a bit rusty, people. And by a bit, I mean a hell of a lot. Okay, so the idea is to first solder the spring piece. I'm gonna put a positive to it. Stay. There we go. So basically, I'm going to try and solder that onto there. It didn't work. Not the plastic. But the solder didn't take. Oh, come on, man. Don't be so difficult. Playing nicely earlier. There goes the camera.
Okay, I think I have a strategy for this now. I'm gonna drop the tin. There. This is because I have such a terribly lacking solving skills. So much solder here. It works for you, right? Let's go. Crappy soldering, here we go. It's a skill I haven't practiced in a very long time. I haven't used it in a very long time. It's got bad stories associated with it. <sighs> Anyways, I think I fixed my indicator bulb. One way to find out. Cool. to do is push this wire back because I did pull it so I could work with it. Pull it quite a bit so I could work with it. This time I'm gonna give it push into a circular orbit. Finish of slack. Sorry guys, this is the first time I'm really like recording something that dynamically needed it, you know? So it's a little bit difficult to work with the camera that's standing still when I want to be working quite dynamically. So yeah, like I said, um, this screw was quite loose and I think the wires which were very short vibrated with everything happening, it vibrated, it broken. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I did. <laughs> Put the bolt back. It'll probably help. Yeah, okay. I lost the screw. I mean, I've always known I got a couple screws loose, but uh, I didn't think it would be this serious. <laughs> Me and my dad jokes, they're terrible. <sighs> they hurt a lot. There we go. My indicator are fixed. Hey guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for checking out this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. Check out my dirty fingers. I like to get my hands dirty. Um, if you guys like this kind of thing let me know in the comments down below i do want to give you some more wrenching type videos where i put my mediocre uh, workmanship skills to the test so it would be really cool if you guys want to check that out 
Um, but what do you think of my soldiering skills? I think they're terrible. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and um, check out Excrogitate, please. He's giving us all the music for this channel. He does it out of the graciousness of his heart. He's a really awesome champ. He's passionate about what he does. So his links are down in the description. You can check out his channels, support him, share his music. His stuff is really pretty cool. And I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, ride safe.